In this lesson, I want to discuss some of the ligaments of the clavicle and scapula. Uh, and we'll only discuss three uh, technical ones, um, because one of them we're going to give uh, the, pretty much the same name. We won't go into any uh, intricate details of those. And the first one I want to discuss, make it kind of easy, attaches, um, well, really, before we get into anything, we want to give a quick review of our anatomy here. And, of course, the bone we're seeing outlined in red here is the scapula. And we can see the scapula here. Uh, with a few key points I want to make here. Uh, number one, you can see the uh, chromial process here in red. And in blue, the coracoid process. Uh, the bone outlined in green here is the clavicle. And, of course, in orange, we have our humerus, pretty obvious here. Uh, in purple, of course, we see the sternum, which won't really play much of a role here for us, and then the rib cage here, um, and some vertebral bodies. So anything that really doesn't play a much of a role for us there. Now, let's clear this off, and we'll get started. I'm going to begin using orange here, and I'm going to have the uh, guy that will connect... Uh, the acromial process and attached to the clavicle. It is called the acromioclavicular ligament. Acromioclavicular ligament. Now, remember that acromioclavicular, why? Well, because it goes from the acromion to the clavicle. It attaches the acromion to the clavicle acromioclavicular ligament. Now these other two are all associated with our structure known as the coracoid process. Now I'm going to do it a little bit differently here and I know I'm kind of accentuating it a little different than it will look in your textbook the way we will draw it out in class anyway. And these two, which I'm drawing them both in red, are the coracoclavicular core a uh, co clavicular ligaments there are two of them now we don't go we don't bother to learn each individual name in this level and then the last but not least one comes from the acromial process here down to the clavic uh, down to the coracoid process and this one will be a corico acromial ligament, corico acromial ligament. So it does help to sit and draw these structures in corico acromial ligaments, corico acromial ligaments. Now I hope you find these videos helpful. Uh, these uh, structures that attach um, and hold the clavicle in. Um, all of these will be associated here, but of course, you guys all be know which ones, you know, which ligament, which of the following ligaments attaches the um, clavicle and the acromion. Which one attaches the uh, clavicle to the acromion to the coracoid process? What ligaments attach there? Uh, so really, it's nothing that problematic, and the names are all in it. So when you're ever thinking which one attaches the acromion to the clavicle, the acromioclavicular ligaments. Which ones attach the clavicle to the coracoid process, the coracoclavicular ligaments. What ligament attaches the acromion to the coracoid? Coracoacromial ligaments. And very simple in the articulations chapter, and this includes a little video on the ligaments associated with our shoulder. And I hope you find these videos helpful. And if you have any other things you need to see, of course, double check some of these other videos of the joints and articulations in that chapter for your lecture drawings. But things like this, I hope you guys understand and get what is going on here. And this includes my video on the ligaments associated with the shoulder. Thank you.